take an effect and save it as its own layer. So currently we have a drop shadow applied to this picture over here. You can see that the rectangle has a drop shadow, but I want that drop shadow to be its own layer so I can manipulate it. So what we're going to do is select this layer. Then at the top of the page, we're going to go up to layer, layer style, and create layer. Once I do that, you'll notice down here, we now have the rectangle and the rectangle's drop shadow. You can then grab your move tool and you can move that all around and manipulate it however you need. You can then do some more fun things. I hit control T, which is my free transform. You can then grab the warp button and you can mess with this shadow, peel down some of the edges, make it look however you'd like.